you're good looking, welcome to this awesome total body strength workout performed in a metabolic conditioning style. So your heart rate is going to go up, we are going to burn a ton of calories, and we are training every single muscle in the body. This is also day one of our 25 and 25 challenge, so hello there. Heads up, we will do this workout on day 25 as well so that we can celebrate and see how far we've come. So I've also designed this as a bit of a fitness test for us. Now we need some tools for this workout. I want you to grab a pair of heavy dumbbells. For reference, I'm using 15s. A pair of moderate or lighter on the lighter side of dumbbells, I'm using 10s. And then if you own a TRX and or a BOSU ball, hey, pull those out too. I'm going to be using them. And if you don't own them, don't fret. I am also going to have a window up into your right side of your screen, which will show you how to do the movements using dumbbells. Okay, awesome. Lace up your runners and let's go get warmed up. Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and listen, I have been personal training women over the age of 40 for over two decades now, helping them get fitter and stronger. So if that interests you, click that subscribe button. Let's keep working together. All right, let's warm ourselves up and then we are jumping right into the workout. Let's start down on the ground, heels close to the bum, feet hip width apart, arms down by your side, push through the heels for me, lift the hips up and slowly lower. Glute bridge, warming up into the glutes and hamstrings. So if you are a part of the challenge, I am so happy to give you this workout. You're going to love it. You're going to sweat. You might not love me during the workout, but you will afterwards. And then like I said, then we will do another fitness test of this on day 25 and we can celebrate how far you've come because trust me, you stick with the 25 days with me, you will go further with your fitness. Last four. Three, two, now hip bridge and hold it up for me. Beautiful, keep the hips even, so don't let one hip drop and lift your left foot off the ground like you're marching, lower down, then the right foot. You got it. 30 seconds here. The goal here is to keep the hips elevated while we also keep the hips even, so we're not letting one hip drop as we lift a leg up. Four more, here's four, three, two, one more, one. Lower the bum, go back to the bridge and let's add a thoracic spine exercise as we lift the hips up, lift the right arm, reach up and over and down. Now the left arm, reach up and over. Good, so you're going on a diagonal with the arm, working into T-spine and shoulder now. Push through the heels still, lifting up the gl glutes as high as you can off your mat. Four more. And rock yourself up to a seated position. Take the feet wide, drop it down into a squat, and then heel lift. Beautiful. Now when we squat, you go down as low as it feels comfortable for your knees. We do have some lunge patterns in this workout at which in the right side of the screen, I'll show you alternatives to do if lunges bother your knees. Last four, three, two, one more, one. Holding on to something, let's take the left leg, swing it forward for hamstring, back for hip flexor. Stabilizing leg is soft. Good, four more, three, Two, one, other side, let's go, kick it up and back. Last four, three, two, one. Stabilize on your left leg, bend your right knee and lift up for four, good. Three, getting into hip stabilizers here, two, one, let's do two more, let's do two more. Good, other side, here we go. Drop it down, bend that knee, focus your stare on something stationary, working into those hip stabilizers. Good, three more, two, and one, shake it out, all right. 
you need a sip of water, now's your chance because we have three rounds of 10 moves that are hitting every muscle in the body, starting with a goblet squat. So I want you to grab what you have as your heavy, just one of them, feet out, toes turned out. So your feet are wider than your shoulders. Get the dumbbell here. Now lower down, knees track with the toes, squeeze the booty, come back up. Good. Now for you advanced people, if you find that your one heavy dumbbell isn't enough weight, keep going. What you can do is take your other, the partner to that heavy, double them up and now boom. We've just made the exercise 100% harder. So your choice, okay? Your workout, keep going. Training into the legs here, we get the core involved, we get the heart rates going up. In 10 seconds, moving into a mountain climber, I'm using my BOSU ball, so if you have one, you can join me. You'll also notice the modified version is using a chair. So grab a chair if you're just starting out. Time. If you're using the BOSU, dome is down, chest is over that white button. Okay, from this position, hold yourself nice and long on the spine and go. Knee in, other knee in. So obviously without the BOSU, you just do it on the ground, right? Or follow suit with the modified version in your screen there where you've built your ground up using a chair or maybe your coffee table or a bench and you're bringing the knees in. Whatever version you're doing, keep the tush down. Keep your wrists under your shoulders. Beautiful. We have a dumbbell swing coming up. If you have a sensitive low back, you'll do a bridge with your feet on your chair and you'll follow suit in that right hand side of the screen. Time. Okay, so you choose. If you're with me with the swing, grab the heavy. Hold on to it on the end like that. Feet apart, it's a hip hinge, and then use the glutes to get the dumbbell up there. Good. So this is a typical kettlebell exercise. So if I say kettlebell by accident, it's just because normally we do this with a kettlebell. <laughs> so now you're using your hips to get the dumbbell up there. Lock out the arms on that top part, lined up with the shoulders. If you're doing the bridges, it's the bottoms of your feet resting on the edge of your chair, bum close to the chair, and push your bum up as high as you can, squeezing into the booty. Whew. Doing good. We're moving into some T push-ups coming up next. If push-ups aren't your jam, you'll grab your heavies and do a chest press following me on the right hand of the screen. Last three. Two, one, beautiful. All right, if you're with me on the push-ups, there's a couple of different options we can do. We can start the push-up on the knees and then go on the toes to rotate for the T. Ready, let's try it, here we go. On the knees, give me a push-up, good. Now come on to the toes, let both the inside and outside edge of your runner hit your mat, go back to center, on the knees, back to push-ups. Now to further modify, you can stay on that one knee, yes? Okay, perfect. Or you can do the full push-up. Chest press, you want those elbows slightly in front of your shoulders. Okay, pressing the dumbbells, touching them center above the chest. Back of the arms coming back down to the mat every rep. Time. All right, heavies in hand. Alternating lunges. If lunges aren't your jam, you'll do a wall sit with one dumbbell or no dumbbells, your choice. Ready, set, go. So we step back. If you're able to, I ideally would love that back knee to hit your ground, but that's only if that feels good on the knees. If the knees just aren't feeling this, do the wall sit that's going on there on the right side, side of the screen. Now with the wall sit, I have the back of my head, shoulders, tailbone against the wall. My feet are apart and my ankles and knees are lined up. As mentioned, you can hold on to weight or not. Whew. Whew. All right. Pull-ups are coming up next, in which I'm gonna use the TRX. 
If you don't have a TRX, you'll use your heavier dumbbells for alternating, or sorry, for both arms coming up rows. Time. So take a look in the right screen when we get going. If you're doing the dumbbell version, we want a hip hinge, okay? And then it's both arms, you're gonna come wide. So the palms are facing your body. TRX people, here we go. Ready? Up. Now if you're with the TRX, the closer you are to your anchor, the harder it is. You're rowing the elbows past the rib cage for both exercises, squeezing the shoulder blades. For both of them too, you're keeping a neutral spine. So with the TRX, we wanna chase that plank, not let those hips go back or forward. For the dumbbells, you wanna hip hinge, so there's nothing going on in your low back. Side lunges are coming up. Time, all right. Up to you, I'm gonna go with my lighter weight. Okay, you can go no weights as well if you have sensitive knees. Here we go, step out. Now you go as low as it feels comfortable, maybe it's here, okay? All right, otherwise, if you're able to, see if we can get each dumbbell to touch the ground as we step out, pushing the bum rearward. So those of you with sensitive knees, you'll bend that knee just a bit. And don't tell me you can't bend your knee, because <laughs> then I will ask you, how do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> okay, we can bend the knees. All right, so just bend them to where you feel you can, and it might just be a micro bend, but that's a bend. <sighs> Renegade rows are coming up. If being in the row pattern coming up, it doesn't work for you, I'll be standing in the right side of your screen. Time, all right. So, more advanced people, switch out to your heavier. It's really hot when I'm filming right now, where I'm filming right now, so I'm staying light. I'm staying lighter with the dumbbell. Full plank, and row up, or hip hinge and alternating row up, standing. You can also bring it down on the knees if you want to give it in between. Okay. Keep the bum down. Okay. Last few reps, standing, grabbing onto one heavy dumbbell, or maybe beginners, no dumbbell. Time. All right. This time it's a forward lunge. Whatever leg steps in front, we do a twist. For those of you that don't wanna do lunges, I'll be doing a V-sit with a twist with one dumbbell or no dumbbell. Ready, go. So if you opted with the twist, sitting nice and tall, you'll lean back, keep that neutral spine, feel the abs grab, and then add the twist. Dumbbells stay close to the body, working into your core muscles. You'll feel your hip flexors too in that V-sit position. If you're with me, all legs, baby. And then as we add that twist, we get into the obliques. One more move of the series, and then we take it back to the top. Time, all right. Squat and shoulder press. If shoulder presses, pressing above the shoulders bother you in the right side of the screen, I'll be doing a squat and bicep curl. If you're with me, hands up, give me a squat. Use the legs to get the dumbbells up, good. Now, you may wanna go lighter on this, or I know there are quite a few of you that have been training with me for a while. Maybe you've gone heavier. I'm using my tens because that's where I'm at today. <laughs> Every day's different, isn't it? Goblet squat coming up, taking it back to the very top. Yep, no rest. 
Keeping those heart rates up for the entire 30 minutes. Time, all right. One or two dumbbell, your choice. Remember the feet were wide. It's gonna give you a little bit more glute and hamstring activation. Toes are turned out. If you opted with the dumbbell, keep it close to the body. Go. So if you're in the 25 and 25 challenge and you're thinking, whoa, PJ, this is way too much exercise. This is gonna be one of the harder ones of the whole series. So pace yourself because like I said, I wanted to do this movement, these exercises, because they're really good tests to see how far you've come and we'll redo it again on day 25. So not all the workouts will be this intense. I'm gonna give you a really good variety so that all the muscles get a good rest and you see growth as opposed to burnout. Deal? Deal. Mountain climbers coming up. Time, all right, so I'm using my BOSU ball. Remember, you can be on the ground or perhaps your hands are elevated even higher to modify the movement. Shoulders and wrists are aligned. All right, and draw one knee in and then the other. Take it slow for me. We want to stay on top of those wrists. So make sure you stick yourself in that position and breathe. Dumbbell swing coming up, or if you have a sensitive low back, you might want to do the bridges with the bottoms of your feet pressing against the edge of your chair, couch, or coffee table. Five more seconds, come on. Time, Woo. all right. I'm gonna grab my 15. If you have a kettlebell close by, hey, use that, right? Feet apart, now remember, this is a hip hinge, okay? Hip hinge, use the glutes to get the dumbbell or kettlebell up there. Good, lock out the arm, shoulder height when you're up there. Bridge people, as you push yourself up, you might push yourself back a bit, so be aware of that. You wanna stay close to your chair. Training legs, core, getting that heart rate up, or keeping it up. <laughs> Last 10 seconds, moving into T push-ups or chest press with heavy dumbbells. Three, two, one, time. So, we learned that T push-up last time. You choose what's gonna work for you, okay? Or chest press, elbows slightly in front of your shoulders is my cue on that guy. All right, so I'm gonna do the push-up on the knees, and then I'll go into high plank and rotate. So I almost make this into two separate movements. I make sure I'm in that high plank before I start the rotation into the T. When I get to the T, I want both inside and outside shoe resting firmly on the ground. The other arm is right underneath the shoulder. Good job. Working pecs, front shoulder, triceps, and then if you're doing the push-up part, and into the core too. Lunges coming up. Time, all right, grab on to one dumbbell, two dumbbells, or maybe no dumbbells, that's up to you. If you're not doing the lunges, it's the wall sit for you. For the lunge pattern on this one, it's a reverse lunge. Go. I cued you last round, if you're able to, get the knee all the way down to the ground, but that's optional, right? TRX pull-ups coming up or 
hip hinge with your heavies or lighter dumbbells if you need them, palms facing your thighs and you'll go wide with your rows, okay? And again, it'll be in the right side of your screen. Time, whoo, whoo. <laughs> Like I said, this is gonna test our metal. All right, if you're with the T-Rex with me, let's do a wide row, just like the dumbbell people. Palms facing down, pull wide, squeeze those shoulder blades, release. Good. Remember T-Rex people, chase your plank. Don't let that, those hips go. Closer you are towards your anchor, the harder the move. Dumbbell people, you want that hip hinge. No rounding at the low or mid back. Hands will come out wide, squeeze those shoulder blades. Both of them at the same time. Come on, last 20 seconds, let's go. Side lunges coming up. Time, whoo, all righty, here we go. I'm grabbing my tens, feet are gonna go wide, all right, we're gonna keep them wide on this set now. You go down as low as it feels comfortable for you. Deal? Good job, all right, push your hips back, come back to center, good. So, it might be here, and if you do have sensitive knees, my recommendation is to get rid of the dumbbells, right? Let's work on getting the knees strong with body weight first before we add external weight when doing these. Renegade row coming up. And you can join me in a full plank for that, or you can do it standing and alternate the row. So it's the same look and movement, you're just standing with a hip hinge. Time. All right. You can also take it down onto the ground if you want to challenge the core and the shoulders a bit more and stay on the knees. All right, your choice. We're going in three, two, one, go. I also want you to remember what weights you're using. So if you've got to jot it down, because if you're like me, if it's not written down, it's out of the brain, um, write it down. So that when we do this again, okay, on day 25, you know what weights you were using. And maybe, most possibly, you'll be able to step up to the next set of dumbbells. Time, Woo. all right. Lunge and twist, or just seated in a V-sit and twist only. I'm gonna grab my 15. This is a forward lunge. Whatever leg steps in front, you twist that direction. Now, if you're doing this at the day 25 and you're not able to step it up on every exercise, that's normal, okay? I would say about 25% of the moves, you'll be able to step it up. The other metric we can gauge, and you might not even remember day one, but was how tired you were, or if you're wearing a heart rate monitor, where your heart rate was. So. Squat and press coming up, time. All right, again, I'm knock it knocking it down to my lighter dumbbells. Now, you can do the squat and bicep curl too if presses bother your shoulders. If you're joining me, start with the dumbbells up, squat, and then use the legs to get the dumbbells and press them up or thrust them up. So, metabolic conditioning workout. That means that we're gonna get a high calorie burn on this. And then as you recover, your body's going to burn a few more calories trying to get it back to homeostasis to where you were pre-workout. So that's where the beauty of doing these type of workouts are. They're tough when we're doing them, but they're worth it. <laughs> All right. 
great. 10 more seconds and then we're on our final round. Goblet squat coming up. Time, woo! All right. You grab what dumbbell's gonna get you there. <laughs> Remember, feet are wide, toes are turned out. Yeah, perfect. Dumbbells held close to the body. Go. Final round. We got this, you guys. We got this. The other metric you can use if you're doing this on day 25 is maybe you stopped quite a bit on day one and now you've only stopped a couple of times or you're doing it nonstop, right? Those are all cool metrics. On every online plan that I sell, we do a fitness assessment on every single one because we need to know where we are so that we can celebrate when at the end of the program, where we're at. It's so cool for motivation. Time, all right. Mountain climbers, again, I'm using my BOSU. You can use the ground, wrists under shoulders, or build your ground up. High plank for me, everyone. Ready, draw the left knee in, release. Hips stay low, slow and controlled. Keeping the movement looking good the entire 45 seconds. You feel those abs? Oh yeah. <laughs> if you don't, then maybe you're ready for the next level, right? So if you're elevated, maybe lower yourself down. Last few seconds. Time, woo! Good job, you. All right, dumbbell swing. Or maybe you'll do the bridges if your low back isn't feeling it, okay? Whew. Feet apart if you're doing the swings. Ready, go. So you'll notice on the swing, it's a lot of hip hinge and then a bit of knee bend. So it's not a squat. We're using the hips to get that dumbbell up there to shoulder height. I'm holding on to the end, not the post. Bridge people, keep the tush close to your chair. Lift the hips up, squeeze the booty, feel those glutes working. If you don't, place your hands. Do you feel the glutes working? Come on. You're working out by yourself probably. You can touch your tush. <laughs> Nobody will know. It'll be our secret. But I want you to make sure you are getting those glutes involved. Time. Whew. I'm glad no more of those. <laughs> All right, T push-ups. So you can join me or chest press. Again, the elbows are in front of the shoulders though. That's gonna protect your shoulder joint. Ready everybody? Get set and go. Be controlled with this one. Last 10 seconds, lunges are coming up. Time, all right. Lunging or your wall sit. Yes, perfect. Dumbbells, all up to you. If you're doing the lunges, nice and tall in the spine, feet hip width apart. Step back, if you can, get the knee to your ground, come back up. While sit, I want you to really aim for those hamstrings, the back of your thighs, parallel with your ground. I know, makes it harder. <laughs> I know, I'm not very nice, but you haven't signed on with me for me to be nice. You signed on with me to lead you through workouts that will challenge you. They're not gonna kill you, they're gonna challenge you. 
I'm training you just like I would real people classes, real people training. Options, modifications, cueing, good. All the same. Time, nice. Okay, pull ups or you're doing the wide rows. Okay, ready? Palms down for our pull ups. Let's go wide again. Go. I absolutely can't stand YouTube channels, and there's so many out there that play music and just have a timer, and you just follow some random girl <laughs> through a series of moves. All right, there's so much cueing, especially if you're doing more complex moves like the wood chops, the swings, TRX movements, even planks, even mountain climbers, those are complex moves in which we've got to teach it to you. And I think it's lazy programming of them turning on a fucking camera. Sorry, yes, I said the F word. Pardon me, I won't do it again. But anyways, and just filming themselves working out. That doesn't benefit you. Okay, pull-ups are coming up or bent over wide rows, okay? So get yourself situated. Whew. Bum up, chest up. Let's do palms down for the uh, TRX people and pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. So I ran out of tape. <laughs> so if I was yabbering and now I'm not yabbering about the same topic, that's why. <laughs> ran out of tape, took a look. It wasn't filming anymore, so I had to reset it. <laughs> so I don't know what I was talking about Whew. when we were last exercising together. Because <laughs> in real time, that was like five minutes ago. In your time, it was seconds ago. Whew. So we'll just carry on. Good. Side lunges coming up. 10 seconds left. Come on, you guys. Abs engaged if you're doing the rows with the dumbbells. Don't want to feel your low back. Time. Whew. All right, side lunges. You grab what pair of dumbbells is going to get you to where you need to be, or maybe it's body weight. We're not traveling. Remember we did this last round? Feet really wide, toes turned out. Ready? Smiles on, this is it. Go. Last round. Now, you're keeping your hips and your shoulders will turn a little bit, but the hips are gonna stay towards me. All right, pushing the booty back. Good job. Breathe. I know, this is tough. With no rest, that's what makes it tough. But we can do this. We only have a few exercises left. Renegade rows coming up next, or maybe you're standing with alternating narrow rows. Time, whoo, all right. Here we go. Now with this renegade row, remember you also have that option, right? On the knees, just drop the tush down. Don't have it piked up. Here we go, everybody, set, go. Last 10 seconds. Lunge and twist coming up. Time, Woo. All right, grab onto one dumbbell only. If your knees aren't feeling it, remember you're seated doing the twist. Here we go, we're stepping forward if you're with me. Whatever leg steps forward, twist to that side. Ready, go. If you're doing the twist without the lunge, so you're in that V sit, you can keep the feet on the ground. Really engage the abs by keeping that neutral spine, not rounding your lower lumbar.
time. Woo. All right, squat and press, this is it. Or squat and bicep curl. Now I'm gonna keep this one heavy. I'll show you how you can modify the presses further by just using one dumbbell, okay? You're gonna squat and press, yeah? Perfect. Oh, you guys, last 10 seconds. We can do this, come on. Time, well done you. All right, don't leave me yet. <laughs> Grab a sip of water if you need it, but we need to cool down. Yeah, my heart rate's up there. We need to cool it down. We'll do a few stretches because I'm not sure what your time frame is. So I'll hit some of the major muscle groups, but if you've got extra time and you're watching this on YouTube, I'm gonna link up a uh, total body stretch at the end. You have to wait to the very end though to click it. If you're watching this on the app, ads free baby, well done you. You can simply go into any of our yoga or stretching mobility playlists and take a look at the hundreds of options you have there, okay? Oh yeah, deep breath in through the nose. Let's plant the feet, bend the knees a bit. Exhale down, good. In, exhale. Last two, in, exhale. Last one, in, exhale. Perfect. All right, finding something to place the elbow up on so it can be a wall or a door frame. You want your elbow shoulder height, forearm and palm resting on your wall or door frame. Step forward with the inside leg, come forward slightly with the body and then turn and look over your other shoulder and you'll feel a nice stretch in the pecs. So this is for the push-ups we did, the presses we did, the swings we did. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so this is gonna hit a lot of areas that we just trained. And down other side. So again, my elbow's at shoulder height. You can also bring it a little higher, get different areas of the, different fibers, I should say, of your pec and anterior deltoid. Look over the shoulder, good. If this is your first experience working out with me, this is so awesome. I'm so happy to have you here. I do things a tad differently than most YouTube channels. Um, I train you as if you were right here in my living room with me. And I wanna respect the fact that you took the time to push play and choose me to work out. So I wanna give you options. I wanna cue you so you have the best form and the best workout. And when we're over 40, we need that. We can't dick around, we can't enjoy ourselves. It just takes longer to get recovered. So let's do it right the first time. Release, all right, take it down for hip flexor stretch. Starting with the left knee under the hip, right knee out, and you can double up your mat if this um, aggravates that back knee. Tuck the tailbone under, beautiful. Now reach up with that left arm straight up, trying to pull the rib and hip away, and then lean. So I have no music on my channel. I encourage people to crank tunes that they enjoy listening to and that motivates them on their end. But on my end, I wanna cue you. I want you to, and entertain you too. <laughs> Today was a lot of cueing though. So you'll find in other workouts, uh, my banter is quite loose. But here we did a ton of multi-joint exercises that I needed to make sure to cue you so you did them properly. Good, another side. Tuck the bum under, that's gonna give you more of a release or contract the right glute, more of a release in the right hip flexor. Right arm straight up, separating rib and hip, and then lean away. I'm also well aware, you know, I've actually now celebrated 26 years as a personal trainer. I'm also well aware that not everything works on every body. So I have, as I said, the modification window, the options, the usual offenders, knees, low back and shoulders. So, and wrists too for mountain climbers and push-ups. 
So I do a good job of trying to talk you through that. And I also have fit tip videos too. For instance, if push-ups bother your wrists, what exercises you can sub in instead. So I have those scattered throughout the channel. And release. All right, let's take ourselves into just a lying down position. We'll get the hamstrings. And then as I said, you can continue on with your day, left leg straight up, or maybe you're gonna do an extended stretch session with the workout that'll appear on the last few seconds. Yeah, I've now hit that point where I've officially been a personal trainer longer than I haven't been. <laughs> I remember when I first started out, oh my goodness. And yeah, YouTube wasn't even around. But yeah, the industry has changed and then COVID, whew, COVID almost killed the industry. Thankfully, there are resilient people in the fitness industry. And yeah, a lot of them have bounced back. And I'm really proud of the way the industry has navigated this bizarre time of the world and other leg. <sighs> Feel the stretch in the hamstring. This is my favorite hamstring stretch lying down. It helps keep the spine in a neutral position. So important if you have osteopenia or osteoporosis. And it enables you to just kind of rest a little bit too. Really important after a Metcon workout. <laughs> and release both knees to the chest stretch out your low back maybe rock the knees side to side and bravo you did it oh my goodness this was a big one all right it was not a big one it was an intense one and that's where the challenge lies i get asked a lot how long do i work out in a week well i don't judge my workouts by length i judge them by intensity so i can give you results with shorter workouts which is ramping up the intensity Thank you for joining me on this one. Hey, if you haven't already, like I said earlier, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the workout, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And you know what even would be even better? If you dropped a comment below. I love reading all your comments and I try to answer everyone. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah.